Hello, friends. I know it's been quite a while since we uh, we did another video, and uh, in this uh, particular tutorial, which will be very interesting, I uh, will be looking at Django. Uh, what is Django? Uh, Django can be so many things. Uh, among them, when you probably do a Google search on Django, you'll find that uh, probably it will display the Tarantino movie that was released in 2012 uh, that is called Django Unchained. I think it features uh, Jamie Foxx and others, but uh, we are not, unfortunately, we are not going to be talking about that uh, if you're a movie fan. Uh, so what Django, the particular type of Django that we'll be talking about uh, will be a Python web framework. And uh, this web framework, uh, kind of helps uh, developers in uh, uh, creating websites uh, in a very, you know, in a very uh, procedural way and uh, in a, a quite quickly uh, from scratch. So you may want your website to look uh, in a certain way. Uh, probably other frameworks like WordPress uh, and the like may not be your best suit. So you can find an alternative in Django. So Another thing that you can talk about, you can also refer Django as to a Python package, uh, a Python package that is used by developers to develop uh, websites. Uh, there's a video that I, a tutorial that I have in my channel uh, for Geonode. It's called Geonode, uh, a web uh, geospatial framework. And uh, it has been heavily built on top of Django. Uh, it's a Django project. Uh, so you can maybe look at it and see how uh, its code base and how it looks like. So the other thing that we are going to maybe look at is uh, or another way that you can refer to uh, Django. You can refer to it as a uh, you can refer to it as a model view template framework, uh, whereby it kind of works with the model, uh, which is a schema. In this case, I'll just refer to it as a schema for the database, and then we have the view uh, that connects the model and the template. That's where you may hear words like MVT, model view template, uh, being thrown around. The template is what, uh, in simple uh, description, is what you look at in the website. So whenever you access a website, uh, then uh, probably you log in or you register if you're registering or signing up. Uh, your particular credentials are probably saved in some database. Uh, and uh, this database, uh, the schema of that database is what we refer to as a model. And um, now we are going to look at uh, the websites that use Django. And I'm going to uh, do a search here onto the uh, screen. Yeah, so we have uh, various websites that use Django. And uh, some of them include, uh, we'll start with uh, Discuss. Let me just do a search. Yeah, so Discuss is a, a it's a blog of sorts uh, whereby people engage in different topics, and uh, this website has been developed on top of uh, Django. Um, this is how it looks like. You can access it on uh, discuss.com. There's so many uh, communities and uh, groups uh, in the website, uh, and it also you, you can also see the pricing. So it has a kind of a premium kind of a model. So we will also check on Instagram, which I believe is among, if it's not the largest, but it's one of the largest social websites that we have. Uh, Instagram has been built on top of uh, uh, Django and uh, it's quite, you can imagine how many media content that it deals with every day. People upload reels. Uh, photographs, uh, pictures, uh, and videos and stories. So you can imagine the power of Django in accommodating all these media content, millions of uh, or billions of uh, media content. Uh, so that is uh, this is Instagram, and then we also have uh, Spotify, uh, which is a um, music uh, or a streaming uh, service or a streaming website. So this is uh, what we have on uh, Spotify. It also has a premium model, and, uh, you know, free model. You can sign up and 
you know, listen to your best uh, play and create playlists, music playlists and podcasts. So we also have a beat bucket. And, uh, yeah, so this is a, think of it as a, like similar to GitHub. Uh, whereby developers upload code and you know interact, uh, build softwares, uh, and also you know manage uh, develop uh, development operations, uh, DevOps kind of tasks. So think of these as a GitHub kind of sorts. So it has been developed with uh, Django. So you can also this one can also demonstrate the robustness or the you know the functionality of Django in the sense of imagine all the code bases that are in Bitbucket and uh, you know the users and, and the like. So you can imagine the features that it has uh, being being on top of Django. So this is quite an awesome framework. And then we have uh, uh, Mozilla. So Mozilla has also been built on top of uh, Django. And I believe there is a repository if you search on GitHub that has uh, the code behind uh, Mozilla. Uh, it has also been built on top of Django. Uh, it also deals with multiple requests. You can imagine the kind of HTTP request, how many people are accessing you know, mozilla.org. Yeah, and I also believe MDN, the most, uh, millions of people are accessing it and you know, it can handle that. Uh, kind of traffic, uh, internet traffic or something like that. So this also demonstrates the power of Django and that's why I used it as an example. And then the rest include uh, Pinterest. Uh, there's a website called Quora. Uh, we have the Onion. Uh, and finally, I think we also have the NASA uh, the Space Station uh, website. I'm sure they have so many websites, but uh, it has uh, it has also been built up of Django, at least one of them, if not all of them. Uh, so you can do your research on that. So now, what do you need to learn Django? Uh, in my experience, I think you need to have a good command uh, of Python programming language, at least you know understand the, how to deal with the classes, methods, you know the basics in Python. Um, dealing with variables, all that. And then you also need to understand how the internet works. Uh, the internet, you know, we, we talk about uh, HTTP, the Hypertext uh, Transfer Protocol. You need to understand what are HTTP requests, get requests, put requests, at least if you have um, some knowledge on that of how basically how the internet works. You know, you use logins, you sign up to services you know you create profiles you write blog posts so if you understand those then you are you can be you know you can pick up on Django. and uh, there are some references that i'm gonna put in the description uh, for the best reference if you want to learn Django is uh, the Django rest framework uh, sorry is a Django. The best references uh, that I have come across personally is uh, the Django documentation, the official Django documentation, and it is uh, quite deep. Uh, it may be scary, but it is quite uh, the best that you can refer to. And then we have uh, there's uh, some videos, uh, or there is also content with the Mozilla, the MDN, Mozilla Development Network. And then we also have the uh, Django Girls. Uh, it has been there for quite some at least some years, and uh, you can also look at it. And uh, also we have the Code with Mosh. I'm going to share these links in the description. Uh, this particular uh, reference onto Django. And then these uh, those are the free kind of content that you can access. And then for I think for premium, there's a book called Learn Django. And uh, Django, uh, there's a website called Learn Django by Vincent, and then there's also the same guy has also I think three books: Django for beginners, Django for professionals, and Django for APIs. So you can also make reference to that. I'm going to share the links in the description below. So yeah, so buckle up. Uh, we are going to look at uh, Django. 
uh, in this tutorial and I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put some comments or you can reach me out uh, via email or my socials. So hop on a board and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you find my content interesting. Uh, you can like my videos uh, and you can also share them uh, for others uh, to also benefit. So thank you for watching.